Do we mean it as a nation when we make a promise to the rest of the world? My name is Gord Miller. I'm the Environmental Commissioner of Ontario. And I'm here today to introduce a report that I'm releasing to the Legislative Assembly of Ontario today called Biodiversity, a Nation's Commitment and Obligation for Ontario. You know, recently our international reputation has been tarnished because Canada reneged on its Kyoto Protocol commitments. Countries around the world are wondering, does Canada, Canada keep its promises? Well, we have a chance to redeem ourselves. Canada is a signatory to the International Convention on Biological Diversity. Ontario, as a province, agreed to go along with that as well. We signed that convention in 1993 and been working, supposedly, since that time to deal with the biodiversity lost all around the world. Well, it hasn't been going well globally. Last year, in 2010, in Nagoya, Japan, the world met all the signatories to that convention and they talked about what can we do to reverse the trend of biodiversity lost around the world. All agreed, all signed on, including Canada. And they came up with what they call the Aichi Biodiversity Targets. There's 20 targets that all countries have committed to follow through on by 2020 to make serious improvements in, in biodiversity. Well, Canada can't deliver that commitment by itself as a country because the, the issue of biodiversity is really about ecosystems, both the air, the land, the water, all of which are under provincial control. So really, within the province of Ontario, that territory, the obligation to meet that international biodiversity requirement falls to the province of Ontario. So, how are we equipped to deal with that? Well, in this report I explain. Ontario doesn't even have a biodiversity strategy binding the government at this time. We used to, we let it expire. We have an out-of-government work group working on biodiversity, which is good, but this treaty requires action by government ministries. What government ministries? Well, that's what this report is about. I've looked at the 20 IG targets, and I've looked at how they might be met, what ministries would have to change the way they do business, what different new approaches would have to be taken, and I've outlined the various targets relative to the various ministries that have to do the job. That constitutes the substance of the report. It's a way forward. It's a way forward so Ontario can find a way to meet the requirements of the IG targets and Canada can meet its international obligations and redeem some of, of its reputation again.